Today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, I show you the very last Music Man Armada. So I recently put out a series of videos detailing the Music Man factory when I went down there a couple of months ago. Now, while I was down there, my band's music video for the song Suffer happened to come out, and in that video, I use my Music Man Armada that I've had for many years, and it was formerly owned and used by Steve Stevens on tour with Billy Idol, and just a really cool guitar, right? I am with Tomas, we're doing the paint booth tour, as you see on video, and in between takes, he's like, yeah, I saw, saw that video, I'm, I'm a huge Armada fan. I said, yeah, I really love the Armada too. I just wish it didn't have what I like to refer to as, as the Dorito, the, the, the Dorito chip in the middle, the triangular version or the triangular section that is typically a different finish than the rest of the body. And he went, hmm, that's interesting. Now we continue on with the factory tour and when we conclude the tour, he goes, come with me. I have something that's pretty cool you might wanna see. And I thought, okay, cool. To which we walk up the stairs and we go into the engineering area where the first video took place and where we had shot the first video for the Music Man tour earlier that day. Now it's at this point, he sees a guitar that is in a literal trash can. Now it wasn't with the trash, I will clarify. It was just being kind of used as a, as a guitar stand so it wouldn't lean or it was being held, but it was a trash can and the guitar was in it and it was all taped up. And he pulls out an Armada, which have been discontinued for several years at this point. And he said, this is the very last Armada ever made. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. It's still been kicking around here. And he goes, yeah, it's been sitting in this trash can in engineering for a while. And this thing was all taped up with all sorts of masking tape. And like it had been used to measure something at some point a while ago. I, I don't know. And he says, so what you're saying is you wouldn't want the finish. And this was a fully finished guitar, keep in mind. You don't want the, uh, the, the the binding outlining the central carve of the top. I said, yeah, precisely. Just make it all one color, make it a little tougher look. And he goes, that sounds pretty cool. Let's do it. To which I, I reply like, what, with, with this guitar? <laughs> So Tomas is like, yeah, let's uh, let's repaint it. You know what would look cool is if we did it like in a gunmetal gray with black hardware, really make it kind of look, you know, like metal or tough and like, you know, like it's riff machine. I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah, that would that would be super cool. And he's like, yeah, cool. Yeah, we can, my guys can do that. Yeah, let's, let's do it. And I was like, with the trash can guitar? Okay, cool, let's do it. And so he dropped it off at paint and I didn't hear anything after that. Thank you. 
Now, fast forward about, I don't know, maybe three or four weeks, and he texts me some photos of the semi-finished guitar in the assembly area, to which I can't even believe I am seeing this. This is my dream armada. This is just a tough looking, very clean looking guitar that is a set neck, has a big old, big old bat, baseball bat neck and black hardware. And most of all, my signature Fishman pickup. I mean, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> So then fast forward two or three more weeks after that, I get back home from our European tour and this thing is waiting for me when I get home. This thing is, a, it reminds me of the Terminator, honestly. Um, this thing is sleek, it's not black. It's like a flat satin gunmetal gray kind of finish. And I think it shows up on camera pretty good. It is not black though, because you can see the contrasting black of the hardware. Now, my original idea was to have a satin black guitar to which Tomas, the paint master that he is, was like, no, nah, that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't pop enough. Let's do a dark color, but not black at, for the body with the dark hardware. And the master was right. Tomas was, was all knowing in this case because this is just a clean looking guitar. Now, this is not without its, you know, little little bruises and a little bit of, uh, you know, finish dings here and there. This was a used guitar kicking around in engineering, and I love that we literally picked it up out of the trash and we refinished it. He refinished it. And underneath this is a really nice curly flame maple cap, and it was blue, and now it's gunmetal gray. It's awesome. So there you go. This is the very, very last production Music Man Armada, and it's mine. And uh, you have surely seen it in at least one or two videos by the time this comes out. And I was just, I was just blown away by the story. And my friends like, "Where'd you get that? They made another one." I was like, "No, it's several years old. It's been sitting in a trash can in engineering. <laughs> the things you find, in Music Man HQ. I don't know." At any rate, big shout out to Tim Dove and Tomas. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, thanks for, to, uh, to Music Man for uh, painting uh, an old guitar for me and uh, making it how I always wanted my other one to be. All pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.